Hello guys, welcome to another grand interesting video on our BAA channel. So in this today's video, we are going to learn about a very frequent problem statement. Okay. So this video, we will start with the problem statement. We will then start, you know, understanding what type of logic has to be made. Then we will understand the type of logic we have made. You know, you can see this on the right side in the process flow. And then we can see that how we have, you know, addressed this issue. And then you can let me know your views in the comment section of this video. Okay. So now let us start with the problem statement. Okay. So before we go into this video, I would like to thank you for, you know, subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking our videos and sharing with your friends because that really motivates us to bring new content related to education to you. So if you see what you see here is we are having, you know, one as a main conveyor at this where the cylinders are being carried and then we have one top conveyor, which is a feeding conveyor and then we have a merging conveyors. Okay. So now what is the challenge, you know, to replicate this as well as in the real world, as well as in a simulation environment is that if you directly, you know, uh, merge these things what is going to happen is it's going to be on a basis of you know a round robin is the simplest thing you can do but what is the challenge for this is you know there is no you know the backup starts getting generated on the merging conveyor you know and that is where it is not recommended because if the blocker starts on this merging conveyor it's going to stop a feeding conveyor and ultimately it is going to block our system so what is that we are supposed to do so basically you know the problem statement is that i want to merge the parts or to the main conveyor consisting that i have a little to no you know uh, parts available on this merging conveyor okay so you need to create a logic in such a way that I need to make a reservation for a part which are coming on this merging conveyor or to the main conveyor and you know I will be reserving my space and I will be moving out onto the main conveyor but while reserving there is a category or a logic which you need to put in is that whichever merging conveyor is going to have highest number of parts that would be given priority while reserving its space on the main conveyor okay so this is the logic and now this logic we need to convert into our simulation model so that it functions or it runs as per our requirement, right? So the current model which you see is basically with the X, the logic which is already placed. So if you see whichever conveyor has more parts would be given a priority for a release and would be reserved for a space, okay? So you can fine tune this you know logic you can increase the efficiency of this logic by tuning this process flow you know and then you can have all these empty spaces filled with the spaces of the merging conveyor parts okay so the first thing i would like to see what you are noticing here right you are noticing that we have a dog and double placed on every conveyor you know to understand about dog and double we already have a video available on our channel you can look at that we have a playlist dedicated for conveyors available on the channel you know you can go through that where we have explained all in detail from these conveyors mass flow conveyors joint conveyors and everything is already been explained there you know but this is a special type of logic i would like to take you through and we will be learning this how to do this okay and if you haven't liked the video please do like it share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our you know be aware channel and we also have a website named beaverchannel.com where you can visit for educational content related to blogs you can book an appointment with us for support required for simulation you know any support required for simulation you can book appointment and we can discuss on that we have blogs as i mentioned we have health awareness related stuff so what are you waiting for visit beaverchannel.com today and you know groom yourself so now what I want to say is if you see we have three types of parts we have red color part we have green color part and we have blue color part generated from these three sources exponentially right 
Now we get a part out of here and if you see we have a parts coming on to our main conveyor these are cylinders. So if you have noticed you know what you can see is that the priority is given to the cylinders you know the cylinders will always be given a priority for movement they will not be stopped at any moment whereas these will be acting as a buffer as emerging conveyors right so now what we are going to do is we are going to see what you have done so what you have done is we have made a one decision point here okay and what we are saying is that we are saying this you know uh, to send this to the merging conveyors based on round robin logic you know and round robin logic is very easy when you come in here you have this round robin output option here you can select that so what i've done is made a decision point here on arrival i have made a trigger and you know the parts are sent to the merging conveyor you know based on round robin we have another decision point here but if you could see i have no logics included in this decision point what you see another thing is we have a photo eye here right these photo eyes are you know to check whether my part has left the thing and his reservation would be you know cancelled and we will have a new space available you know then we have another photo eye here similarly to check the part out from this merging conveyor and similarly for third merging conveyor if you see these two photo eyes these two photo eyes are you know checking whether i have a space available on my main conveyor okay so these all things you would be required to you know create in our 3d model now one more thing what we have done is whenever part enters the merging conveyors you can see i have created on entry trigger out here and what we do is we are pushing this item to the item list you know one we already have created a video on you know list that is shared asset list it is available on our channel you can watch that in order to understand you know in detail about list okay so that is about list so the moment i get part inside this you can see that it's available in the list so if i show you you know the entries you would be able to see that in my list the moment i get in the part n i am going to get that part you know entered into this list so if you see this this is how it get updated so now what we have done we have created a logic you know to check the availability of the space so that we can do a reservation reservation would be done based on the parts available in the list the parts come in list whenever they enter this merging conveyor now we need to create a process flow logic you know to uh, guide these things now we have parts in the list we have uh, the uh, thing which can check the availability of the space now we need to synchronize both in order to you know run this uh, modeling logic okay so let me know if you have any questions related to this you know in the comment section we'll try to reply you or you can you know email us at be our channel yd at the red gmail.com or you can reach us out from the contact us page at our website be our channel.com so we are there to support you related to simulation you know any support related to simulation we are there to help you out so now here it is you know the merging logic we have created this in detail about this now when you see in this process flow you know we have this detail process flow if you see it looks quite ugly you know ugly in the sense it's all done like here and there routes and all and that sort of things are but uh, it would be very easy when you start on your own and you would not feel this you know as a complicated thing it's a very easy thing you can try this on your own also okay so basically what we are going to do now you know so now the everything is driven from this process flow logic so we will be understanding about this you know and then we will understand about the merging logic of the process flow in our next video okay so this would be a part one of the video and we'll have part two where we'll be understanding this logic in detail right so now let us understand this first part of the process flow. so what we are doing is you know whenever a circulation you know this is circulation arrival right so basically this is for the cylinder so what we are doing is whenever our pe1 gets covered right this is that photo i this as the start of this what we are going to do is we are labeling it as an item right and then what we are doing is we are setting up a priority this is not yet used but for advanced logic you can use this label and what we have done is we have created another you know source you know arrival source where we get one token and this token is then you know pushed to the list and this 
token at the same token is pulled from the list and again pushed to the list so that we validate this logic for one part you know this one part so what we do is you know whenever a part enters this photo i i am going to pull this from the list and that i am going to wait for this part to leave this another photo i you know so i'm just tracking that anything which is entered has it exited from this right so this is the thing which we check and once we you know the part is out from this photo i we push this token into this now why is this one token logic available here this is because we are going to validate or you know we are going to allow this process flow to get run only for one part you know if you have multiple parts what is going to happen is it's going to get triggered for one part only okay so why that is very helpful for reservation of thing so whenever a reservation thing comes here right and we have a space available what we do is we allow one part at a time to get out okay not multiple not all parts get reserved seats only one is allowed to get out so that one thing to get triggered or checked we have made it one you can make it two tokens you can make it three depending on your requirement right but why we have made it one because the only one item can pull a thing from the list another item cannot pull from the list it will be waiting here right so that is why where the token has been created here and then you know what you do is you wait until you know i uncover so the same item which was entered if it is going to exit so that's the match operation here what we are going to do is it is then going to send it out you know the token gets uh, pushed to the list and the token is sent to the sync so this is how the you know process flow works so if you could see there is no stoppage for this priority thing that is cylinders it straight away comes in comes in comes in and it's go out but the controlling factor is available for this which we will be learning in our next detailed part 2 understanding convey merging logic so stay tuned with us you know till the end of the video in part 2 as well just you have stayed tuned to part 1 right so let us meet in part 2 of this video till then you can keep practicing about simulation concepts you know watch videos available on our channel and if you want this model you know let me know in the comment section or you can reach us out separately on email you know that would be sounding great so let us meet in another grand interesting video till then you know stay safe stay simulating